eight players from 11 are still starting for us four years later. That in itself resembles why we're in this position we are because we've persisted with mediocrity for too long. What is up my friends? This video is being sponsored by our friends at Spitch, the best fantasy football manager game on the App Store bar none. Why is it the best? You don't have to commit to an entire season. You can play individual game weeks if you want, choosing a brand new team every single weekend. Right now there's a new season mode where you can win up to £50,000 and there's even a free season mode with prizes of up to £2,500. Seasons mode is based on 34 game weeks and only your best five are counted at the end of the season. There are tons of stats and analytics available inside the app to help you choose your team and give you the best chance of winning. If the money and the gameplay wasn't enough to tempt you, how about Jurgen Klopp being an ambassador for speech this season? If it's good enough for Mr. Klopp, it's good enough for me. You must be 18 years or over to play. Use our link in the description below to download Spitch and win money with your football knowledge. One game into a Champions League campaign and now the pressure's on. The pressure's on. Now look, in a Champions League campaign, you usually look to win your home games and pick up something away from home and won. And you're usually able to get through in that way. But it's the manner at which we were outfought, outworked, outthought, outplayed by Napoli that has, I think, riled a lot of Liverpool fans because we knew we were going to be in for a difficult game. We know going to Naples is a tough place to go and we haven't had great results there historically. But all the more reason to go out there and make a statement. Manchester City the night before went out to Sevilla, another difficult place to go, albeit it's not the strongest Sevilla team in history, but they dispatched them 4-0, made it look like an easy night's work, got off to a great start. We are in trouble. Yeah, I'm not... I'm not going to say we're in trouble really about about this. I, I firmly believe we'll win all three of our games at home. I, I do. Um, it might be blind loyalty. It might just be, it might be based in, in fact. I I just feel as if we probably you, you, you argue you need ten points to get through a Champions League group. I think that we get three wins at home and a draw away from home. I, I, I'm still capable of that. And realistically, Nap as we said, Napoli is a difficult place to go. Two two Champions League campaigns in a row without uh, a loss. Um, at, at their stadium, so I'm not, I'm not, I'm not too worried to be honest with you. But yeah, City looked um, unreal again, didn't they? Which is, uh, it's, uh, it's concerning. But maybe we just need to stop comparing ourselves to them because they're just different gravy. What, what worries me though, Paddy, is the head-to-head. So the head-to-head with Napoli, we're already a little bit screwed on. If it does come down to a level points tally, you know, we're going to have to beat them by three clear goals or more at home to reverse that head-to-head. So that's already starting to worry me in a group where you're probably going to have three live candidates in there in Ajax, Liverpool and Napoli and Rangers, you know, with all due respect, will probably be propping up the group. Yeah, listen, well, I, th- you know, I think Napoli are a fantastic side. They have some seriously good talent, none other than, none other than Kvica Kvaraskelia. Uh, I think they're going to top the group. Uh, I think that result alone is enough to kind of get them that. Um but I don't worry about us qualifying. I think we'll qualify. Would would I? I did predict us to. I think we'll drop points in one more game, and I, I think that'll be a way to the Rangers in Ibrox because the atmosphere is very good. So, but I think we'll win. We'll. we'll I think we'll beat uh, Rangers at home. I think we'll win all our home games. I think that'll be enough. I think we'll we'll win all our home games, and that'll be enough. Are we in a crisis? As a, not in, not just in the Champions League as a club right now, with where we are with the form that we're in, with the players that are unavailable to Jurgen Klopp for selection, are we in a crisis or what will it take for your your view of this being coming a crisis? It depends on your definition of a crisis, really. Yeah. I think. I th- I'd say we're in, we are in a transitional phase would be the word I would use. Um, we're not in good form, but I wouldn't say we're in like dire straits. That would be that would be wrong because I think even a win, even a win, who who will be playing next? I don't even know. Brighton, I suppose, will be the next game we actually play. Yeah, first um, October. A win against them, all of a sudden, life life looks rosy again. I think it's just, um, it's a it's a difficult one to 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 really define because football changes so quickly, doesn't it? I feel, Paddy, I feel like there's something we're not being told about. Honestly, I think there is a problem. And I think there's a problem 
in an area where we've never questioned there being a problem before. And I think that's within the squad. I think there might be an issue that we don't know about. Yeah, well, first of all, on the crisis talk, I think, I wouldn't say crisis, but I believe our season is on a tipping point in terms of whether it's going to be a success or not. Um, we need to get results ASAP. Uh, what, what you said, I think for the first time in the club tenure, I, I believe there is question marks over the mentality of our players um, and the, the desire they possess. I believe it's a case of fatigue and and mental and physical fatigue and just being burnt out. A hangover from last season, because if you think about it, no matter what people say, it, the way it ended was miserable. We we dropped at the final hurdle of the biggest two competitions after giving a whole season and playing every single game. You know that will take a lot, and I think there are certain players that are just finished mentally and that they, they need. Well, if they can ever recover, I don't know, but some players are just done. Yeah, I I do get the feel, and I've said this same phrase over and over again. Sometimes the players can only go back to the well so many times. There's so many words of encouragement from Klopp. Sometimes it just loses its luster. It just loses its its effect and. There are too many players now that have obviously just emptied the tanks too often. And I do feel like I'm worried because it feels like it's going to be another season that goes by where our owners are willing to be patient and wait. And that's all great. But the years under Jurgen Klopp are ticking away. And, you know, life after Jurgen is going to look pretty tricky. So I want I, w- I want him to be given the tools, Chris, to, to build his second team. That's what I really want because it's a huge challenge for him. Probably the biggest challenge since he's come to the club now. He's built one team and they were certainly formed in his image and we all loved them and they were representatives of us on the pitch. But now we're not seeing the same response from the players. So it is time to start smashing a few heads together and start reminding a few players that they aren't undroppable. Yeah, absolutely. It's it's You're, you're spot on there. Um, I hate to say the phrase, next summer, I, I think it will be. It's going to shit a wheel, hit the fan. Um, as it should have done this summer, if I'm being brutally honest with you, it should have done. Um, or at least we should have moved some of next season shit hitting the fan back to this summer. Um, but again, that's that's down to the owners and, and how much they're willing to put in. Um, yeah, it, it is worrying seeing these years ticked out, tick, tick by, tick down. Um, yeah, which I, I, I just feel as if though, I, I feel as if we owe these boys the backing that they deserve. Um, they well and truly deserve it uh, because they've proven us wrong time and time again. Now, that might be blind loyalty. I don't know, but um, I, I back them. I do. I still do. do my fire alarm is going off. Is anyone else hearing that? Yeah, it's my fire alarm. It's yours? It's mine, yeah. I think... I, oh, think, um, I thought it was mine. I was like, what? No one's cooking <laughs> at my house. What's going on? Don't worry. Yeah, I'll die F- before F- I end F- this stream. FSG have tapped into your gaff. Then what? They probably wouldn't burn my house. I don't mind them. Someone, someone in the kitchen probably is it. Someone yeah. frying something or something. I wish they'd uh, stop it. John, can you can you top that, please? Okay. Chris, if the flames start coming in from under the door, only then will you get a nod from us to. Jump out <laughs> of the I ain't going anywhere, boys. I'll just mute my mic. Um. Just on the whole, you know, transition period and blah 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 blah. Uh, let me just let me just say, let me just read out something. Yeah. Allison, Gomez, Lovren, Van Dyke, Robertson, Fabinho, Milner, Henderson, Mane, Salah, Firmino. That was the starting lineup against Napoli in the Champions League group stage just four years ago. Four years ago. We still have Allison, we still have Gomez, Van Dyke, Robertson, Fabinho, Milner, Salah, and Firmino. Eight players. From eleven, have started are still starting for us four years later. That in itself resembles why we're we're in this position we are because we've persisted with mediocrity for too long, and it's a lack of backing. That, you say that there's probably only one of those players that you would get rid of. The, the fine get rid of. Well, who are you getting rid of right now? Out of those eight, Milner. That's it. If get if get rid of means can do better, then. Gomez, Robertson. As a fourth choice centre back, you, you're not going to get much better than Joe Gomez. I don't know, bro. Are you sure? Yeah, I think he's proven it. Like I understand there needs to be more additions in that, and throughout that squad there needs to be more additions. But out of those eight, 
only one doesn't really deserve to be at the club. 